the Bhagavad Gita chapter 15 in this chapter Lord Krishna describes human life in the form of a fig tree God and being are described the Lord God is the life of this world he is the supreme Lord of all chapter Lord Krishna says Parth human life is like the indestructible fig tree the roots of the tree of life are upwards and its branches are downwards its leaves are the Vedas and he who knows the true form of this tree of life he is the knower of the Vedas and he comes to know the secrets and the mysteries of life the branches of this tree of life are spread out upwards and downwards and they are nourished by the three attributes of nature objects of the senses are its buds and the roots of this tree spread out below in the world of men in all directions these roots are the actions which bind man firmly to the world as a result of which he has to be born again and again the true form of this tree of life cannot be seen in this world of men neither its origin nor its end nor yet its source is seen here to get freedom from the cycle of births and deaths it is necessary to cut down this strong rooted tree with the strong acts of detachment this tree of life should be cut from its very roots and then that eternal path leading to salvation should be sought going on which one attains freedom from the cycle of births and deaths and does not return to the world one should seek refuge in that supreme atma the soul of this world from which have originated the ancient streams of life and which is the source and origin of this entire creation those people who have subdued pride and delusion of the mind who have rid themselves of both of these who have subdued the taint of attachment who always reside in their soul in their atma who have understood the duality the confusion and the doubt about sorrow and happiness and have overcome these and whose all desires have ended they reach that eternal state which is far far brighter than the sun the moon and fire which state once reached one does not have to return to this world that is my supreme state that is my supreme abode a very small fragment of my imperishable being is always coming to life and coming to life in this world it draws to itself the five senses and six the mind all of which are situated in nature when the Lord takes on a body or when he leaves the body then he takes along with him the senses and the mind just as the wind carries away the fragrances and scents from their places using the five knowledge senses of ears nose eyes skin and tongue as well as the mind he enjoys the objects of the senses when the Atma in the form of the Lord leaves a body or when it resides in it or when coming in contact with the senses and with the attributes of nature it enjoys them then all this time the deluded and the ignorant are not able to see the Lord Atma who has been residing within themselves but those whose eyes of knowledge have opened they alone are able to see him only those yogis who are fully engaged in the practice of yoga and who keep on trying to achieve yoga are able to see the Paramatma residing within themselves but the ignorant and the indisciplined even though striving and trying are unable to see the Paramatma within themselves the light of the sun which lights up and warms the earth is my light only as are the light and the brightness of the moon pervading the world of men with my life giving powers I give life to all beings and becoming the nourishing sap giving moon I nourish all vegetation and herbs mixing with the incoming and the outgoing breaths becoming the digestive fire I help digest all kinds of food 
I dwell in the hearts of all. From me come memory, knowledge and wisdom. I also destroy doubts and scarcity. In truth, I am the one who is known through the Vedas. I am the knowledge and the wisdom of the Vedas. I am the maker of the Vedanta and it is I who am the knower of the Vedas. In this world, two types of beings are born. The perishable whose end must come and the imperishable whose end never comes. All beings of the physical world are perishable while the changeless Atma is imperishable. But beyond both these perishable and imperishable is yet another Supreme Atma called the Paramatma. That Paramatma as the Supreme Lord pervades the three worlds and also nourishes and nurtures them. I am that Paramatma. Because I transcend both the perishable and the imperishable, because I am above both the perishable and the imperishable, I am superior to all. Therefore, in this world, I am recognized as Purushottam, the Supreme Person. Whosoever, without any doubt, knows me as the Supreme Person, as Purushottam, understand that he has known everything and he worships me with his entire being, with his entire body and soul. In this way, Parth, I have told you this most secret knowledge and wisdom, knowing which a person becomes wise. All his duties and actions get completed. He gains immortality and attains salvation. He attains the supreme state. End of chapter 15 Om Shanti 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 Om